What if I told you that semen contains chemicals that can affect your partner's mood, sleep, and even pregnancy health? Hello, gentlemen. I'm Dr. Mika Hayashi, a urologist with over a decade of experience helping men over 50 understand the complex science of male sexual health and its impact on their partners. Today, we're discussing something most doctors never talk about openly the biological effects of semen on the female body, and the research is going to surprise you. This isn't about opinions or personal preferences. This is about hard science. Recent studies have revealed that semen is far more than just a vehicle for reproduction. It's a sophisticated biochemical cocktail containing over 200 distinct proteins, hormones and nutrients that can influence everything from mood and immune function to pregnancy outcomes. Before we dive in, hit that like button right now, comment below where you're watching from, and subscribe so you never miss important health information designed for men over 50. Now, let me share what the research actually shows. First, let's clear up a massive misconception most men believe. Semen is not primarily sperm. In fact, Sperm cells make up only about 5% to 10% of total ejaculate volume. The remaining 90% to 95% is a complex fluid called seminal plasma. This plasma isn't just a passive carrier. It's a strategically engineered biological solution produced by your prostate, seminal vesicles, and other glands. Its evolutionary purpose is to protect, nourish, and energize sperm on their journey to fertilize an egg. Here's what's in this biological cocktail. About 60% comes from your seminal vesicles, containing fructose, a sugar that fuels sperm movement. About 10% to 30% comes from your prostate gland, providing proteins and enzymes that protect sperm and regulate fluid consistency. Small amounts come from other glands, providing lubrication and additional protective compounds. But here's where it gets fascinating. Beyond these functional components, semen contains powerful hormones and mood-altering neurochemicals, compounds identical to the ones that regulate emotions, stress levels, and feelings of well-being in the brain. Specifically, semen contains cortisol, the body's primary stress hormone that regulates inflammation and immune response. It contains melatonin, the sleep hormone that regulates circadian rhythms. It contains serotonin, the feel-good neurotransmitter that profoundly impacts mood and happiness. And critically, it contains oxytocin, often called the love hormone or bonding hormone, which fosters trust, intimacy, and social connection. From an evolutionary standpoint, this makes perfect sense. This cocktail supports reproduction. But when introduced to different parts of the human body, particularly through vaginal or oral contact, these components can be absorbed into the bloodstream and exert entirely different effects. Effects that have nothing to do with making a baby, but everything to do with the chemistry and health of your partner. One patient, 56 years old, was shocked when I explained this. He said, I had no idea my body was producing something this complex. I thought it was just sperm and water. Understanding the composition is the first step to understanding the potential effects. If this surprises you, hit that like button and drop a comment. Now let's discuss one of the most controversial and widely cited research findings, the potential antidepressant effect of semen exposure. A groundbreaking 2002 study at SUNY Albany surveyed 293 sexually active college women. Researchers assessed their mood using the Beck Depression Inventory, a standard clinical tool, and divided them into groups based on condom usage. The results were striking. Women who had direct exposure to their partner's semen, meaning no condom was used, reported significantly fewer depressive symptoms and demonstrated overall higher levels of happiness compared to those who always used condoms. Among women who always or usually used condoms, about 20% reported suicidal thoughts. Among those who sometimes used condoms, 
only 7% reported suicidal thoughts. And among women who never used condoms, only 5% reported suicidal thoughts. Now, this is correlation, not causation. It's critical to understand that. The study didn't account for other factors like relationship quality, emotional connection, or the psychological effects of intimacy itself. But the leading hypothesis points to those psychoactive compounds I just mentioned. The theory is that mood-elevating substances in semen, serotonin, oxytocin, and nerve growth factor are absorbed through vaginal or oral tissue and enter the bloodstream. Once circulating, these hormones and neurotransmitters could exert a systemic antidepressant-like influence. This suggests that the emotional lift many women experience after intimacy might not be purely psychological. There may be a tangible biochemical component. Beyond mood, the melatonin in semen could theoretically contribute to better sleep and relaxation. While the amount is small, its absorption could aid in the feeling of calmness many people report after sex. The oxytocin component is particularly interesting. This love hormone is central to emotional bonding. When absorbed during intimacy, it may biochemically reinforce feelings of trust, empathy, and connection between partners. One couple I worked with, both in their early 60s, reported that their intimacy actually improved after menopause when they stopped using barrier methods. The wife told me she felt more emotionally connected and less anxious. While I can't prove semen exposure caused this, the timeline certainly aligned with the research. Comment below. Does this research surprise you? Let me know. The immune system and pregnancy connection? This next part is the most scientifically fascinating and has profound implications for couples trying to conceive. Here's the biological challenge. A woman's immune system is designed to recognize and attack foreign invaders. But a fetus is technically a foreign entity because half its genetic material comes from the father. In some cases, the mother's immune system has an aggressive reaction to this foreign genetic material. The most dangerous example is preeclampsia, a serious pregnancy complication involving dangerously high blood pressure, thought to be linked to an adverse maternal immune response to paternal genes in the placenta. Here's where the research gets remarkable. Multiple studies have shown that regular, long-term exposure to a partner's semen can help build immunological tolerance. The theory is that by introducing the woman's body to the partner's specific proteins and DNA over time, through vaginal or even oral contact, her immune system gradually learns to recognize this genetic material as safe rather than as a threat. A 2003 study found that women who had shorter relationships, less than four months, and used condoms before pregnancy were about 17 times more likely to develop preeclampsia than those in longer relationships with regular semen exposure. Further studies and reviews have confirmed this correlation. Women with more prolonged sexual exposure to the father's semen before conception showed significantly reduced risk of developing preeclampsia. This suggests that regular exposure acts as a kind of natural immunization, preparing the body for a healthy pregnancy. The mechanism works through something called paternal antigens in semen. These increase maternal tolerance to the fetus, helping protect it from being rejected and facilitating successful implantation and placental development. Now, it's absolutely crucial to put this in perspective. This is fascinating research, but it's not medical advice. Semen exposure is not a guaranteed prevention for pregnancy complications, However, for couples planning to conceive, particularly men over 50 whose partners may be in the later reproductive years, understanding this biological dialogue is important. One patient, 54 years old, and his four two-year-old wife had experienced two miscarriages. After discussing the research on immunological tolerance, They focused on regular intimacy without barriers for six months before attempting another pregnancy. That pregnancy was successful and healthy. While I can't prove causation, the science certainly supports the possibility that semen exposure played a protective role. The immune system connection is real and profound. 
Now, while these potential benefits are intriguing, we must address the serious risks. Providing balanced information is not optional. It's a matter of health and safety. The most immediate and undeniable danger is sexually transmitted infection transmission. This is the single most critical risk factor. Semen is a primary vehicle for viral and bacterial pathogens. The mucous membranes of the vagina and mouth are highly effective at absorbing these pathogens. HIV, the virus causing AIDS, can be transmitted through vaginal or oral contact if there are any small cuts, sores, or inflammation. Herpes, both HSV-1 and HSV-2, transmits easily through semen contact, causing painful recurring sores. Human papillomavirus, HPV, is a major concern. Certain strains cause genital warts, while others significantly increase the risk of oropharyngeal cancers, cancers of the throat, tongue base, and tonsils. Rates of these cancers have been rising, and oral HPV transmission through semen is a primary cause. Bacterial infections like chlamydia, gonorrhea, and syphilis can infect the throat and reproductive tract, leading to severe inflammation and serious systemic health problems if untreated. A crucial fact is that many infections are asymptomatic in the carrier. Your partner can be infected and contagious without showing any visible signs, making visual inspection completely unreliable. Beyond infectious diseases, there's another serious risk, allergic reactions. This condition is called seminal plasma hypersensitivity. While rare, affecting about 40,000 women in the U.S., though likely underreported, some individuals have severe allergic responses to specific proteins in semen. Symptoms range from mild localized reactions, like itching, swelling, and hives in the mouth or vaginal area, to severe systemic anaphylactic reactions involving difficulty breathing and dangerous blood pressure drops requiring immediate medical attention. Finally, the health and lifestyle of the male partner directly impacts semen safety. Semen composition reflects overall health, diet, and habits. Toxins from excessive alcohol, illicit drugs, or high doses of certain medications can be present in seminal fluid. Ingesting these substances introduces them into your partner's system. The only effective way to mitigate these profound risks is through absolute trust, open communication about sexual health histories, and consistent regular health screenings for both partners. Without that foundation, the potential for connection becomes a problem. One couple I counseled, both in their late 50s, had been together for two years but never discussed STI testing. After the wife developed a throat infection that turned out to be gonorrhea, transmitted orally, their relationship nearly ended. Full screening and treatment resolved the medical issue, but the trust damage took much longer to heal. The risks are real, serious, and non-negotiable. Gentlemen, let me bring this all together for you. Semen is far more biologically complex than most men realize. It's not just sperm and fluid. It's a sophisticated cocktail containing over 200 proteins, hormones like serotonin, oxytocin, and melatonin, and compounds that can influence mood, immune function, and pregnancy outcomes. The research, while limited and often correlational, suggests potential benefits, mood improvements through neurotransmitter absorption, enhanced emotional bonding through oxytocin transfer, reduced pregnancy complications through immunological tolerance. These findings add a fascinating layer to our understanding of human intimacy and the biological dialogue between partners. However, these potential benefits come with serious, undeniable risks. STI transmission, including HIV, herpes, HPV, and bacterial infections, rare but severe allergic reactions, exposure to toxins from an unhealthy lifestyle. The purpose of this information is not to tell you what to do or not do. It's to replace myths and taboos with knowledge. Because true empowerment comes from understanding all the facts and making informed, conscious decisions that are right for you, your partner, and your relationship.
For men over 50, this information is particularly relevant. As you navigate intimacy in long-term relationships, new relationships, or changing relationship dynamics, understanding the biological complexity of semen helps you make informed choices about protection, health screening, and communication with your partner. This knowledge should only inform decisions made in the context of absolute trust, open communication, and shared commitment to health and safety. If this video provided valuable information, hit that like button right now. Comment below and tell me, did this change your perspective? What surprised you most? And subscribe for more honest, science-based health guidance for men over 50. I'm Dr. Mika Hayashi. Your sexual health and your partner's health both matter. Knowledge is the foundation of healthy, informed intimacy. Take care of yourself and your partner.